Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, it's a few days from now, but... This is show what? 40... What is this? Show what? 48. 48. This is as green as I've got. This, this is as green as he's uh, got. I, I hope this comes across. It is a kind of olive army green. Well, army is kind of a fair color for Ireland with all the, the things those guys did. And wait till you see Erico. She's really green. Yeah. So we are going to do Irish songs. Happy St. Patrick's Day to all you mm -hmm. Irish people out there. And we're going to be talking a lot about that today. And we love a lot of these uh, Irish songs. Should we just start with one? Well, yeah. Well, we picked all Irish songs today. So what do you think? New and old. New and old. Sing along. If you don't know these, you ain't Irish. Okay. I wish I was in Carrick, Fergus, only four nights in Bally Grand. I would swim over uh, the deepest ocean, the deepest ocean, four nights in Bally Grand. My childhood days. Back reflections of happy times spent long ago. My boyhood friends, my own relations have all passed on now like melting snow. But the sea is white and I can't cross over. Neither have I the wings to fly. I wish I had me a handsome boat now to ferry me over, my love and I. I'll spend my days in ceaseless roving, soft as the grass. My bed is free Oh, to be back now In Carrick, Fergus Long winding road Down to the sea stone as black as ink with gold and silver I would support her but I'll sing no more till I get a drink or oh, I'm drunk today My days in ceaseless roving, soft is the grass, my bed is free. Oh, to be back now in Carrick, Fergus, long winding road.
Sad song in Carrick Fergus as a town in Northern Ireland. And now, are you going to do a song about a dirty old town? Yeah, I'm going to do a song about Dublin. I think Dublin. It's about Dublin, yeah. Okay, we're going North and South Ireland. I got to tell you, if you ever ride the train from Belfast to Dublin, it's amazing because around Belfast, it looks like down south war zone and suddenly everything gets greener and you get into <coughs> Southern Ireland and it's. It must have looked a lot better now than it did. 35 years ago though. Right? Yeah, well that was my train ride was 20 <coughs> years ago. I guess well, I've never better. I've never been to Belfast, but I have been to Dublin. And I just want to say something really important about all of the Irish stereotypes there, out there. You know, <coughs> so many stereotypes that are unfair and in the case of the Irish stereotype it's all completely true. It's all accurate. So that was one thing that I learned in I Ireland. It was Every like, one of these songs that I googled to see. Yeah. It shows student guys or people in a pub going crazy, all singing yeah. like they all, they all sing in unison. That's really great. You have to I'm admire the Irish for embracing the stereotype and really making it part of the national identity. But anyway, um, so um, one of the questions uh, was, can we do a Pogue song? And uh, this was not written by the Pogues. So the Pogues, if you if you don't know, one of the great bands of all time. But they they really fused traditional Irish music with with a kind of <clears throat> punk. They kind of invented punk that rock genre. and roll. Yeah. And they've kind of invented the genre. And there's two albums in particular that are just spectacular records, which everyone should buy. And one is uh, Peace and Love, and the other one is If I Should Fall from Grace with God. And there's two Pugs records from quite a while ago now. But Well, my favorite Christmas song is the, the New York, yeah, that's Sean McGowan. Fairy yeah. Tale of New York, fabulous. Well, and Sean McGowan is the poster boy for dental hygiene in the UK. <laughs> You've got to look up a picture of Sean McGowan. But this song they covered on one of their earlier records, and it's a dirty old town. I met my love by the gasworks wall. Dream the dream Shining steel, tempered in the 
the fire will chop you down like an old dead tree. Dirty old town. Dirty old town. Okay, last verse, quiet. I met my love by the guessworks wall. Dreamed a dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town. Keep it going. Dirty old town, dirty old town. Dirty old town. Well, we have a special guest. That was Dirty Old Town by, I think you and McCall wrote that old uh, folk songwriter's daughter is Kirsty McCall, who's had uh, some oh, success great. of her own. Um, but we have a special guest today. It's a Japanese leprechaun from the forests of. Something went terribly wrong in the space-time vortex, and Ireland r- wound there up with its is. own very own... Um, wearing the most amazing green of all. Japanese, Japanese leprechaun queen. Japricon. The ja- okay. <laughs> the Japricon. Okay. You ready to rock out, Japricon? Yeah. Okay. What are we doing here? Oh. Is that the wrong tempo? In a neat little town they call Belfast, apprentice to trade I was bound. And many an hours of sweet happiness fit in the sweet little town. A sad misfortune came o'er me, which caused me to stray from the land. Far away from relation, paid up by. Show me those chords. And I did at her shoulder, light up with a black velvet band. Her eyes, they shone like the diamonds. I thought she was queen of the land. And her hair hang over her shoulder. Up with a black velvet band I took a stroll down Broadway Meaning not for long to stay There who should I meet but this pretty maid Who kept along the highway She was both fair and handsome Her neck was just like a swan And her hair hung over her shoulder Tied up with the black velvet band Her hair it shone like diamonds I thought her the queen of the land And her hair hung over her shoulder Tied up with the black velvet band A stroll with this pretty fair maid and gentleman passing us by. Well, I knew she meant that love doing him a look in her roguish black eye. A gold watch she took from his pocket and placed it right into my hand. And the very first thing that I said was back to the black velvet band. Shone like diamonds I thought she was queen of the land And her hair hang over her shoulder Right up for the black velvet band Before the judge and the jury 
next morning I had to appear. The judge said to me, young man, your case is proven clear. We'll give you seven years of servitude to be spent far away from the land, far away from your friends and companions, betrayed by the black velvet band. Oh, her eyes, they shone like diamonds. I thought her the queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. Well, the thing about these Irish songs are the same thing over and over and over, but they all tell quite a story. This is a story about a, a pickpocket. Yeah, they have he like 15 verses, a lot of these songs. Yeah, a lot of them have a lot of verses. How's it going, Coco? Good. Speaking of picking the pocket. <laughs> what? I got your wallet without you noticing. Again? Remember? No, not today. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's true. I guess all the, all the stories about the leprechauns, the little people stealing things, and Coco like is, is, has been practicing her pickpocketing skills, and got my wallet out of my back pocket. It's getting the other boring day. here in the same house, so Erica, yeah, we put things in our pockets. A whole sweet we put different new, things in our pockets. Skills. See if she could pickpocket them out. <laughs> okay, a few questions. Steve Whitehouse says, "Do you name your guitars?" No, I have too many to remember the names. Yeah, I've <laughs> named one. I need a name for this one. Old Faithful, maybe. How about that? It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Old Faithful. Old Faithful. Good. Now you wouldn't know this um, because I'm going through an amp, so it doesn't really sound like a proper guitar. But if you were to just plug this directly into a PA, this sounds just like a mic acoustic guitar, right? Because the whole pickup. Mine is named a Godin. Godin. G O D I N. Made by Jean Godin in Quebec. Okay. Noah Hockman says, my birthday is on St. Patrick's Day. Great. Wow. I'll be 30. Yay. Congratulations, Noah. Um, <clears throat> Lars Elbach says, you must play Steve Earle's Galway Girl. Uh, well, we didn't plan on that, but you know, maybe next year. We could have done 10 Irish you know, St. Patrick's Day shows. Yeah, we could have. Um, Kev E says, I saw Randy many years ago at the Pines in Bridge, North Ontario, and he introduced Tal on drums. Tal, what was it like sitting in for the injured drummer and playing your first shows with your dad? It, it was awesome. I, I laughed. I, I was excited. I was happy that the guy broke his ankle. No, I'm just – no, actually, I'm not joking. Um, no, it was, uh, it was an opportunity. Well, I think – maybe he's a nice fella. I'm, I'm being mean, but – That was Billy Chapman. <laughs> my drummer. He names who, him. He broke his leg. <laughs> I have a rule when you're in my band. No motorcycle riding, no skydiving, no skiing, no go-karting. No karting. fun. Absolutely no, no fun No, because my brother Rob was like go-karting, went through a fence, ripped his shoulder – be playing on stage and i wouldn't hear a snare drum i'd look at his arm and be hanging down i'd have to go behind him and click his arm into his sock and then he'd play again so we had this rule of that you can't do these insane crazy things when you're on on a rock and, and roll and tour where every night you got to show up and be a hundred percent and he broke the rule and broke his ankle and then i got and the you gig got your off your opportunity that's right um pat wilkie says of course you'll have to sing when irish eyes are smiling we didn't practice that one, but here's... When Irish eyes are smiling, sure it's like a morning spring. In the peal of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. When Irish hearts are happy, da 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 Just when Irish eyes are smiling, feel your heart away. Okay. Um, <laughs> well... David Horn says, in the 1970s, FM radio stations in Vancouver had delayed broadcasts of concerts that had played earlier that evening. Randy or Tal, did you ever listen to your gigs that you had just completed earlier that evening? Well, okay, I have one story about that. I What's remember those, but you're, you're, you're packing up your stuff, and you're trying to get, uh, put get on your clothes and go home to bed. And we just hurt ourselves. Why would we hear, listen to ourselves? <laughs> you know, people think we listen to our own. I don't listen to anything in the radio. I drive in silence. Yeah, no, Pretty I much. hate music. I hate music in my car. I, no, I, no, I, no, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I like to select my own music. I can't. I don't want to listen to a bunch of crappy. Me songs too. On I, the radio. I play really strange stuff in my in my truck. Yeah. What, what do you think, Coco? What do you I listen to Ken Tomplin's uh, vocal practice, so I practice vocal my vocals while I'm driving. That's well, right. She's Everybody practicing singing. Like weird. That's right. Because I'm doing like. 
Ken is a good friend of ours. If you want vocal lessons, he is your guy. He's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, one more question, then we'll get back to the songs. Um, oh, yeah, I have a quick story about the David Horn thing. Is um, When, when uh, years ago, my record came out, and we did the tour with Brian Adams, we were opening, and the, the sound of the light guy or something videotaped our performance. Oh. And then brought it back to the bus, and we... It was the first time I'd ever watched us play, and we were so bad. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. It was so – we thought we were so good on stage, and I was terrible. Um, I mean, I just – one thing I noticed is I kept kind of taking my head away from the mic before I was finished my lines. So it was like the last two words of every line you couldn't hear. It was just – it was really devastating, but, you know, that's how you get better. And did you learn from that? Yeah. yeah. I feel like we did get a lot better. So We'll come back to the questions in a minute. Now, Coco, um, this is a like a, a tough one. It's like doom tack, doom tack, doom tack. We're doing this. No, we just did. We just did uh, Irish Black Velvet Dance. So we'll do and do mine. Mine. On the fourth of July, eighteen hundred and six, we set sail from the sweet cove of Cork. We were sailing away with a cargo of bricks from the Grand City Hall in New York. T'was a wonderful craft, she was rigged for and aft, and oh how the wild wind drove her. She stood several blast, she had 27 masts, and they called her the Irish Rover. We had one million bags of the best Sligo rags. We had two million barrels of snow. We had three million sides of old blind horses' hides. We had four million barrels of bones. We had five million hogs and six million dogs. Seven million barrels of porter. We had eight million balls of old nanny goats' tails in the whole of the Irish Rover. Okay. There was old Picky Coot who played hard on his flute when the ladies lined up for a set. He was tooting with skill Every sparking quadrille Through the dancers were fluthered and bed With his smart witty talk He was cock of the walk And he rolled the dames under and over They all knew what a glance When he took up his stance That he sailed in the Irish Rover Verses. There's a million verses in this song, so I'm going to skip ahead. For a sailor, it's always a bother in life. It's so lonesome by night and by day that he longs for the shore and a charming young girl who will melt all his troubles away. Oh, the noise and the rub, swilling, pointing, and stout. For him soon the torment's over Of the love of a mate He is never afraid To salt from the Irish Rover My solo! Sailed seven years when the measles broke out And the ship lost its way in the fog And that whale of a crew was reduced down to two Just myself and the captain's old dog Then the ship struck a rock Oh Lord, what a shock The bulkhead was turned right over Turned nine times around and the 
poor old dog was drowned And then the last of the Irish Rovers Okay, I skipped some verses, but but nobody noticed. It was the Irish Rover. Okay. Okay, what do you got? Nice playing, Coco. Okay, I want a real dance beat, real kick four in the floor, okay? No, just boom. Boom, ka, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. Yeah. Me, ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They pull my hair, they stole my comb. That's all right till I go home. She is handsome, she is pretty. She is the belle from Belfast City. She is a chord in one, two, three. Please, won't you tell me who is she? Albert Mooney says he loves her. All the boys are fighting for her. Knock her door and ring her bell. Oh, my true love, are you well? Out she comes as white as snow. When the bills and the fingers on her toe. Johnny says, well, she die if she does the fellow with a rolling up. Tell me, Ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave the girls alone. They pull my hair, they stole my comb. Well, that's all right till I go. She is handsome, she is pretty, she is the belle of Belfast. She is a court in one, two, three. Please, won't you tell me to Let the wind and the rain and the hail blow high, and the snow come tumbling from the sky. She's as nice as an apple pie, she'll get by on her own mind. But when she gets a lad of her own, she won't tell her ma till she comes home. Let them all come if they will, for it's Albert Moody she loves to. Tell me, ma, when I go home, the boys won't leave, the girls won't leave. She is pretty, she is the belle of Belfast City She is a courting one, two, three Do you want to tell me who is she? She is a courting one, two, three Do you want to tell me who is she? Yeah! Woo! That was fun. I want to be in the Pogues. I guess yeah. they're broken up, right? Uh, well, Shane, the singer, has, I think he's got a bit of a battle with the bottle. Well, didn't he have a band called the the Popes? You got a sound alike name instead of the Pogues, they became the Popes. <laughs> oh, now we're going to get into rock and roll hoochie coo. Yeah, <laughs> great. Let's get into the rocks show. I get to play bass. Oh, are you sticking with that same guitar? Yeah. I guess I, I should tune up. I'm giving you, I'm giving you bass. This is you too, right? You choose music as all bass. <laughs> the Edge is doing little harmonic things, but basically, well, I'm going thing. to be what's his name, Adam Clay. Well, when we get into the chorus up here, yeah, like that, it's all right. You could just go like. Well, that's it. That's the whole. Thing. And I'll change chords over you. But then you gotta come out in the verse. Okay, so we're gonna the whole try. Song is that bass? The whole song. I uh, to oh, oh, song. oh, yeah. I guess it does. It, it is, isn't it? Yeah, but then, I'm but but then, the, but you kind of like. John and take a walk with you. Like you oh, lay out on that right, part. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cookie, you ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't remember. Oh, it's it's like. Okay, this is you too. Okay, here we go. Johnny, take a walk with your sister, the moon. Let her pay a lot in to fill up your room. You've been living underground, eating from a can. You've been running away from what you don't understand. Love. 
got it down She'll be there when you hit the ground It's all right, it's all right, it's all right She moves in mysterious ways, yeah It's all right, it's all right, it's all right She moves in mysterious ways, oh. Johnny, take a dive with your sister in the rain. Let her talk about the things you can't explain. To touch is to heal, to hurt is to steal. If you want to kiss the sky, better learn how to kneel on your knees, boy. Turn the tide, she sees the man inside the chair. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. She moves in mysterious ways, oh. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. She moves in mysterious ways, oh. It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. Lift my days. into Black Sabbath there for a second. Four, yeah. One day you'll look back and you'll see where you were held How by this love while you could stand there you could move on this moment follow this feeling It's alright, it's alright It's alright Good playing uh, on the bass part, Adam Clayton. Is it ever hard to sing that chorus and play that bass line? It's so great how in that song that that's you're right. That's the only bass part. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um, Edwin Paschke says a little whiskey in the jar.
Remember how that goes? I, I turned to Thin Lizzy so I know the song, but I, I can't remember. Whack for the daddy-o, whack for the daddy-o, there's whiskey in the jar. Then a Captain Farrell and his money he was counting. And he swore and he never tried to leave. Said stand and deliver for you were the bold deceiver. Russia ring the loo the low. Whack for the daddy-o. Whack for the daddy-o. There's whiskey in the jar. That's the best we can do on uh, just throwing songs at us. Okay. David Lee says, Randy, you wrote a wonderful song for the Irish Rovers, The Other Side of the Evening. Please yeah. wait me here. May we hear a little? Let's hear a little bit of I it. I almost did that, but I think, didn't think anyone would know it. Oh, this is me. Oh, yeah, go. We, we, we tasted the best of our memories. No, that's too long. We tasted the best of our memories. We toasted your health and my own. Not the other side of the evening. And it's time for us all to go home. Irish pub. La da, la da, la da da. La da, la da 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 da. The other side of the evening. And it's time for us all to go home. If the other side of the evening. Sunshine is chasing the moon. So let's plan to meet the same time next year. The same day someday soon. We tasted the best of our memories. We toasted your health and my own. Now it's the other side of the evening. And it's time for us all to To see uh, Will Miller from the Irish Rovers down at the White Rock Pier all the time. Oh, I love the Irish Rovers. They were great. Jimmy Fergus. Uh, Will Miller was a really good friend of mine. I collected guitars. He collected mandolins and banjos from all over the world. He and I were going to do a museum together. Oh, wow. That's but the cool. government wouldn't let us do it and write it off. Hmm. Uh, Bruce Curry says, any chance of playing anything by the Pogues? Well, we did Dirty Old Town, so we covered that. Um, you want? Let's just do your song. Sure. My favorite Irishman. Whoa, here it comes. Faster. Here comes the night. Here it comes. Here comes the night. I could see right up my window, walking down the street, my girl with another guy. I'm around her like it used to be with me Makes me want to sit and cry Yeah, yeah, yeah Oh, here it comes Here comes the night Here it comes Here comes the night There they go, funny how they look so good together Wondering what's wrong with me Why can't I accept the fact she's chosen him And simply let them be without me Well, here it comes Here comes the
Heather Van Morrison. around here. Way too loud there. Just around midnight. And she makes me feel so good. She makes me feel all right. I think I'm going to take her home. I think I'm going to make her mine. I think I'm going to take her home. I think I'm going to make her mine. Out of the blue. Thanks for following me on that. Yeah. There's a one song reminds me of another. And Van Morrison has had an incredible 50-year career. And he's still going strong. A song a few years ago in a castle. In, it was performing in a castle in London. Cool. Okay. A non-St. Patrick's Day question. Barbara Stambaugh says, have you spent time with Les Paul? We'd love to hear you do How High the Moon. Wow. <laughs> Yes, I met Les Paul when I was about 15. If we have time for this story, I'll make it quick. I left school early. I took the bus to the other side of Winnipeg. He was playing a place called the Rancho Don Carlos on the Pembina Highway towards the U.S. border. And I lived on the other side of Winnipeg. So I took a bus there. And I got there about 4.30. Uh, it was a nightclub, supper club. And um, I went to the front door. And, and the guy said, what are you doing here? I said, I came to see Les Paul. And by then, Les Paul had three songs in the top, the hit parade, How High the Moon and Via Candios and something else. And uh, I think it was Lover. And he said, you can't get in. It's a supper club. We serve alcohol here. Unless you have an adult with you, you cannot get in. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you can't get in. How old are you? I was 15. So I was sitting out front on the grass. There's the bus stop there. And I pulled the black Cadillac. And the window rolls down, and it's Les Paul. His son's driving the car. His son, Gene, was playing drums that night. And Mary Ford's in the back seat. He says, hi, kid. What are you doing? I had his album under my arm. I said, I came to see you. And, and uh, to get your autograph this. So he signed, he autographed. He said, uh, I said, but I can't see you. I can't get in. He said, I'll get you in. So he said, carry in my guitar. So I went to the back door and carried in his guitar and I was in. But I had to stay in the kitchen. And the Rancho Don Carlos, the kitchen was behind the stage where the guys got the food. And the stage was in front. And then there was these big swinging doors with a big round glass window. So the waiters wouldn't bump into each other with the trays. So I got to st stand backstage seeing Les Paul and Mary Ford, seeing their backs through this round window, and I was beside about six tape recorders, which he ran with a thing called the Les Pulverizer with his guitar, which is stop and start and record, and he explained to the audience how he got his son to record a rhythm track and how he overdubbed everything, and that was just amazing. So I sat, I sat all night and um, heard them play and saw him play from the back. Uh, after the show, he came to me and he handed me the guitar and said, hold this kid, and he wiped his head with a napkin, and I said, would you show me a lick from... Uh, from one of your songs, and the lick was. Yeah. 
from where there's music. The lick he did all the way. He showed me that. Go maybe 30 years away from that. No, maybe 25. I'm playing uh, with Van. I'm opening Van Halen. You were on that tour. Uh, I'm opening for Van Halen. Les Wall comes, and, he, and he's saying hi to Eddie and Sammy, and he comes up to me in the dressing room, and he says, uh, do I know you? And I said, well, I saw you at the Rancho Don Carlos about 20 years ago. And he said, do you still remember that lick? And I played him the lick, and that was fabulous. Then I went to the um, Iridium Club and saw him play, and he introduced me. I went on stage, and I played How High the Moon with him, and he played Taking Care of Business with me. And my road manager at the time, Marty Kramer, filmed it, so I have a film of that. So Les Paul was a very cool, wonderful guy, and he treated me like I was somebody. And I felt like somebody. He made me feel like somebody. He was one of the world's greatest guitar players and greatest guys. Cool. And my favorite guitar is the Amer my American woman, Les Paul, special guitar. Cool. Is that was that your last song that we yes. just did? Oh wow. Okay. So we'll do a couple of questions. Let's see if there's one for Coco. Whoa. I don't see one, but let's make one up. Okay. Um, how do you put up with these how do you put up with these two backman guys? <laughs> That's the question. What is the secret to your success, uh, Coco? The secret to my success? Yes, every success you have. Coco's a very skilled woman. Oh, thank you. Um, I kind of like what a lot of athletes do. I think being able to train yourself to be able to envision, hmm. I think that's really important. So I try to kind of imagine the, you know, what it would look like. For you know, for myself to call it success, I do that a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah I can relate. I'm sure to a lot that. of people do that, right? Ichiro did that too. Well, I just found a question for Coco as you were answering that. Gregory Rose says, "Question for you, um, for Coco, what's her favorite song to play on drums?" Oh, um, actually, I really enjoy playing your original songs. Okay. They're my favorite. Okay, that is yeah. the correct answer. And Randy's, yes. <laughs> um, the funnest. Uh, Gregory also says, a uh, question for you, to me, I guess. How did you come to play She's So High on stage with Taylor, Taylor Swift? I um, got an email from Tay Tay, and uh, she asked me if I would come play the song with her on stage in Vancouver. That was a while well, when ago. she played in Toronto about a week before that, she went on stage and said, it's great to be in Canada. Some of my favorite songs are from here. And she did She's So High al alone on stage. Well, I, I, she did a couple other Canadian songs. Well, I could never confirm whether that she had done that. She did. She played a little bit on stage. Somebody told me that she did, and then, then somebody told me she mentioned. Well, somebody she's recorded so high and a, sent it to me, and I told a, you oh, about okay. it. Then she called you, and you came on stage okay. here. Well, that's what happened. Vancouver. I got an email. I had been in contact with her manager prior to that, so he did have my contact info, and she just called and said, "You want to come play it?" Which is pretty gutsy of her. She what was it like out, being on stage with she her? She had a sellout crowd at Rogers Arena in Vancouver. So to bring a guy up who she doesn't really, we didn't, we had never met, to, to play a song in the middle of her show is pretty gutsy. Yeah, I mean, I could have. I mean, right it on, Tay Tay. Been a disaster, and that's a <laughs> tough song to sing. Um, <clears throat> what else do we got? Sheik Paladin. Wow, what a name that Great is. Great name. I wonder if that's a stage name, Sheik Paladin. Wow, that's got to be a made-up thing. Uh, mentioned this last week. Coco said she'd try to work it in, but I'd love to hear Randy explain the background of A Wednesday in Your Garden. What a great song, yet I've never heard much about its writing or recording with the Guess Who. Wow. Wednesday in Your Garden is a song I wrote on the first Guess Who album uh, with Burton Cummings, which was called Wheatfield Soul. It was supposed to be a single and follow up these eyes. And my life would have been much different if that had happened. But we got asked to write a different follow-up, and Laughing became the single. However, when I played in Memphis, Tennessee, I went early one Saturday morning to Mecklemore St Avenue, where Stax Studio was. It was an old movie theater. And I went about 11 in the morning. The rest of the band was asleep because they would stay up all night doing things. And I would go to sleep. And I would get up in the morning and do banking. Anyways, I got up this Saturday morning. The banks were closed. I went to Mecklemore Avenue and peeked in the wind, a round window of this old movie theater. And there's a guy in there sweeping the floor. And he saw me look in the window. He came and opened the door, and I was kind of taken aback. And he said, hi, are you here for the session? I said, no, uh, no, no. He said, well, the session's starting at 11. 
um, why don't you stick around? I said, I'm a Canadian. I came here to just see the studio. And he said, well, come on in. My name is Rufus. And this was Rufus Thomas. He was there tidying up the place. And, wow. And so I went in, I met Steve Cropper, and I met uh, the rest of the band came in. There was a session that day. And Steve Cropper had heard these eyes on the radio, and he said, would you teach me some of those chords from these eyes? These eyes. So I showed him those chords, and he wasn't very familiar with those chords. I showed him how to play them, and then I left, and he said, well, thank you very much. It's really amazing to learn these chords. I've heard them in my head, but didn't know how to play them. And I'm going to record a song of yours off this album. And he recorded When's In Your Garden with Mavis Staples and the Staples Singers. And that was on the next Staples Singers album, which I absolutely love. And I went to see Mavis Staples about three years ago at Massey Hall in Toronto. No, at the, uh, yeah, Massey Hall in Toronto. And I went backstage, and I shook hands with her, and I said, I wrote When's In Your Garden. And she went, oh, and she sang the whole song for me there. And I was in tears because it had been like, this was 1969 when this was recorded by them. And she introduced me to, to her sister, who sang as her backup. So that's my Wednesday in your garden story. Cool. Greg Tonnen says, question for both. When you guys are on a Rock Legends cruise, which we did a year ago, which feels like it was 100 years ago. Yeah. When you guys are on a Rock Legends cruise, what do you do when you're not on stage? Do you watch the other acts, hang out, or jam with other bands, or reminisce with old friends? Take us in to your rock star world. Well, <coughs> Coco was on that cruise, so I hung out with Cr uh, Coco. But we did go see America. We saw the America concert. And yeah, we're, we're hit friends after hit after hit. We're friends with a lot of those guys. So to see them again after so many years, uh, I toured uh, New Zealand a while ago with Backman Turner with America. Uh, it was really great. So I got to know those guys really, really well. They played with us way, way back in the 70s. So a lot of these guys in these bands, I've toured them every couple of years since the 70s, even back in the 60s. And so you kind of know these guys, and uh, you're basically captive on the ship for three or four days. So the restaurants are open all the time. You can go in any time you want. Eating, eating and drinking is free. There's no bills or anything because everybody pays ahead of time for everything. And, uh, and then, But during the day, I did interviews with Peter Frampton, with the guy from Pablo Cruz. So you're busy with uh, – I was busy with schedules all day long because other people going to – Q and answers, sit down, little guitar, things like this. And so you, you do a lot more than just play the one gig. You're playing three or four gigs and a couple other personal appearances. Yeah. It was fun. But well, you tend to overeat because it's like living in a restaurant. It's 24 hours. And they change the food every like three or four hours. Like it's Mexican, then it's seafood, and then it's Oriental, then it's hot dogs and hamburgers. And Well, we're just about out of time. We have one last question, and what do you know? Somebody named Charles Pellegrin says, might be an opportunity to play some Thin Lizzy jailbreak, perhaps. Oh. And, You're and an amazing coincidence. You set this up. No. It this was is a, a total setup. coincidence. I wanted to do Jailbreak by Thin Lizzy, which to me is one of the, it's like the missing rock and roll 70s yeah. classic. Yeah, because should have followed up. Boys are not, back a, not a lot of people know this song. Um, <laughs> Jailbreak somewhere in this town. See me and the boys, we don't like it. So we were getting up and going down. Had a low looking right to left. If you see us coming, I think it's best to move away. Do you hear what I say? From under Dog 
tracks on my trail All hell breaks loose, alarm and sirens wail Like the game if you lose Go to jail, of course Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak Somewhere in the town Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak So don't you be around Tonight there's gonna be trouble some of us won't survive Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak So woman, stay with the friends And then it goes into that weird E thing where it's like like that. to mention i'm part of a video that's coming out this week can you tell me about it oh yes it's the bullet a song called stop making bullets a song i collaborated with dj shub who's the cool guy from a tribe called red and a uh really cool uh afro-canadian lady named phoenix pagliacci uh and it's a rap kind of song and i heard a little kid say this uh, when all this, when they saw all the shooting in in America and everywhere else, why don't they just stop making bullets? So I p 
put this idea together called Stop Making Bullets. So it's just called Bullets. So if you Google Bullets, the video's coming out, and a guy in L.A. did an animated video. It's really cool, and uh, I think it would be nice if they stopped making bullets. Well, <clears throat> if you're still watching, uh, please be so kind as to push like and subscribe and share, and thank you for donating to the tip jar. And tell, and five, tell five people to watch. And thank you to Coco for putting this together. And happy St. Patrick's happy Day. Happy St. Patrick's the Day. The man who chased the snakes out of Ireland. Thank you. There's no snakes in Ireland. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Nice